Well, this is one of the great laboratories in the world to study how deltas grow. What does it take as far as sediment input and vegetation growth and the stage of the river flow and the interaction with the tides? And one of the toughest part about uh, working in a, in a delta is you can only touch one little piece of it at any one time and understand one little piece of it at one time. Now we have the capability of working with NASA to understand the entire delta. We have three aircrafts flying simultaneously over the Atchafalaya Basin and the Turbone Basin. Each of these aircrafts carry a remote sensing instrument. We can figure out how much sediment is in that water. And if we know how much sediment is in that water, and using the radar, we know where that water goes, we know where those sediments go and end up. We can understand the growth, where the delta is growing, where it's not growing, why it's growing in certain locations and why it's not in others. Having satellites essentially put us at a much macro scale that I've never worked at before. In other deltas around the world, you don't have as much subsidence, but in the near future, as sea level rise accelerates, it will reach a point where it's going to be just like we have here. So it's a lab, it's a window into the future.